Hello gamers, it is me, uh, the what's downer, the wheat down, and today, I'm gonna teach you a, a tutorial on how to dither, dither correctly. This is how you're gonna dither correctly and not do it wrong. And no, before you say, oh, well, you rap rap uses pay.net. Well, here's the thing. This is more efficient. This is much more efficient and very easy to do. You don't have to download any external plugins. All you need is GIMP. And you're right here. So first we got Bamboo right here. Now one thing to note is that before you put the face, you should dither it. Also, also, you should not put make the face in Paint 3D and then put it in Paint 3D. First you make it without the face, you export it without the face, and then you put the face over it for editing. But before you put the face, you have to dither it, which I missed that step, so apologies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to images, mode, and right here, indexed. There's gonna be a thing that says convert image to index colors. Now what you're gonna do, generate optimum palette and maximum number of colors. Make sure you don't get it below to like, like six or eight or whatever, cause that's a little, this is not that much colors, it could mess up, but old true expunge used four. He used four, which is kind of wonky, but that's old expunge, so it doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do for Bamboo, he uses like 24 colors, or he used to use like 18, 19. Night. It's a little bit, we, since we changed filters like night filters, a little bit more color, so Yahoo. So what I had said Bamboo to like around 24, Bamberg would probably be like 24, 28. Uh, really, it, it depends on how many colors you have for the character. Really, it depends on how many colors you have, really. I mean, since only 24 colors, there's only like three basic colors here. You got blue, just the tan, and then the black, and the white, I guess, yeah. But it really, it depends on how many characters you have on screen. If you have like, like three or more on, maybe, Turn it up to 32 or more, but really, if you're using one character, the max you should go is like 32, unless it's like super complex. But I keep Bamboo down to like 24, and make sure down here. This is the the important part: the dithering. The color dithering has to be Floyd Steinberg. It can be one of these two. Personally, I use this one because reduce color bleeding. This one can kind of be messy. Um, make sure these are off by the way. So let me show you an example. This is like, yep. As you can see, sometimes, sometimes that'll happen. It's wonky as heck, so instead, you can use reduced color bleeding. And what that'll do is it'll reduce color bleeding. And see, look, looks a lot nicer, huh? Nice 24 color bamboo. And there you go. That's pretty much how you do it. But, we're not done yet. If you want to keep editing it, you can go down to brightness and contrast. Oh wait, before you do that though, change this to RGB. You can go to brightness and contrast, and you can do a little bit of editing. Now, personally, I don't use this, but anyways, we're gonna overwrite, and we're gonna bring in Photoshop. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open it up. This is for all the Photoshop users, by the way. We're gonna open it up, and we're gonna go here, brightness and contrast. Now, the difference between GIMP is that when you brighten up here, it's not like, it doesn't make it like grayish. It's kind of like a, like a better brightness and stuff, you know? Legacy though, then it just, but yeah, GIMP uses legacy, so. Make sure the skin color isn't too, like, like don't do this, this is weird. Don't, don't, don't do this. Oh, that's just creepy. <laughs> I mean, if you want a creepy vibe, you can do that. But anyways, so anyways, yep. That's pretty much it. See ya.